Hello everyone, I am Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because we have another DIY project. If you've seen the entryway makeover, then you see that we're gonna be using a lot of these little terracotta pots because they are super affordable and it's a great decorating tool for spring. So I'm gonna show you how you can create these really cute terracotta planters for under $4, you guys. So you have to stay tuned and watch. All right, you guys, we're gonna go out shopping for a few materials. If you wanna see this DIY, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video and share with your friends. And if you're new to Ramon at Home, here we talk about interior design and decorating through fun DIY projects to help you unleash your inner designer so you can create a space that tells your story. So please consider subscribing. All right, let's get crafting. All right, you guys, so we're heading out to Dollar Tree to buy some spring decorating items that I need for the top of the hatch. So stay tuned as to what I buy. I'm so excited to start decorating because I feel like it's been a lot of shopping lately, but not enough decorating. And spring is just around the corner, so we're gonna really get to decorating the house and the hatch is today. So let me get these supplies and I'll show you what I do. I think it's going to be beautiful. All right, you guys, so let me show you what I got. I bought two of these terracotta pots at Home Depot for $1.97 each. And this size right here, it's about 97 each. And then at the dollar store, I got these sets of two, which comes two terracotta pots for a dollar. And then a Dollar Tree also for a wreath that we're gonna be making in a future video. I got one of these oh, pink dahlias, which I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then I got one of these blue irises to add to it. And then we're gonna add some of these orange dahlias, which I also think they're just spectacular. And one of these narcissus in yellow, because it's going to be a spring wreath, so there's no spring without yellow for sure. And then let me show you what I have gathered, this tub of greenery from past projects. As you guys can see, it's just all clippings and I just put them on this box. There's some lavender right here. There's some magnolia foliage. There's fern, there's all kinds of greenery. So we're gonna be potting some plants. We're gonna be making a wreath. And I just recommend whenever you have a project you no longer are in love with it, just clip all of these uh, foliages and flowers. As you guys can see, there's some ranunculus we're gonna add to the wreath. And just gather it together because the best way of shopping is shopping at your own house. And if I would've gotten rid of all of this, I would not have it, so. All right, you guys, this is gonna be a really fun project and the things we're gonna need are, of course, some recycled florist foam. And keep in mind that this was actually fresh flowers that were sent to me. I let the flowers dry and then I kept the foam. We're gonna need a knife to cut our foam. We're gonna need a terracotta pot, medium, and a terracotta pot in small. And then, of course, we're gonna need a whole bunch of clippings from previous projects. I like to recycle these clippings. As you guys can see, these were actually, you can even see the glue right here. Um, so these were actually from a project in the past. All right, so let's get started. This is gonna be super simple, but I promise you will love this project. Let's start with this guy right here. What I need to do is I need to insert some foam to make sure that it's pretty tight. Just go ahead and wedge it in there. And we wanna make sure that it's pretty well wedged in there. So, and push down even to the rim, as you can see. It is super easy to make because we're gonna cover this with moss. So I'm gonna put that one to the side, then I have a bigger one right here. And I think this is gonna probably need both of them inserted like, like so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right here like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and probably cut a little bit like this to the side and always always recycle the little clippings then push down and to wedge we're gonna use this we're just gonna break them and wedge them in there all around so it's tight and safe all right so once we have this pretty well wedged in there as you guys can see right here what we need to do is we need to start inserting our greenery and I'm gonna actually do both at a time so I'm gonna do a fern on this and then I'm gonna do a palm on that so what I want to do is I want to start from the middle, inserting on an angle, and then you insert one going that way, then you need to mimic going the other way, like so. Now I'm gonna do a front now, one that way, then the other one this way. Now the 
secret here is to go ahead and give them a twist and repeat. And that's gonna be our top. So you always wanna do the longer ones on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the spot right here and insert. And we're gonna find the spot right here and insert. Now we don't wanna cover the whole pot because we really want the moss to show towards the bottom. So I'm gonna find two of my longer ones right here. And I'm gonna insert one right here. Go this way. Then I'm gonna insert one another one of my taller ones going this way, all right? So make sure you insert all the as far down as you can so they really stay up. Then what you wanna do is you wanna find some of the little ones. And on this particular one, I have these tiny little ones. And I just wanna go ahead and insert a few because like I said, I do want the moss to show, but I also want them to drape down a little bit, like so. And I'm gonna find some of these little ferns. And just insert right here, go down. Where's another little fern? I like this one, I recycle because it has two of them. Makes my work easier. Now this is a super fun project and you can save yourself some money because you could go out and buy some of these potted plants at Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx, but they're super expensive. And this way if you have some recycled items, I just recommend to do it because you could save yourself a few dollars as I show you. I have a stash where I just stash all of my decorating that I take apart and I just put in a little box and stash it away that way when I want to do projects like this well I have everything I need all right so I think they look pretty good I'm just gonna spin them around a little bit and just make sure that they're full let me see this one's pretty good to go so let me go ahead and add a few more small ones to this like I said this is a perfect project to recycle at this point we're just juicing we want it to be tall because it's going to go on top of our cabinets we want it to show all right so now what i want to do is i want to grab some of this sheet moss that i have left over from another project and i just want to go ahead and wedge that in to the rim all the way around and that's going to give it a more organic look to it like so and then right here you just want those little greens to show and because that foam is so soft you can really really squish it into the foam like so and this will save you guys a few dollars instead of going out to buy them just go ahead and wedge it in like this okay i'm gonna add one more right here All right, that looks pretty good. I would say so. It looks organic. And then you can just bend these guys every wish you want. All right, let me do this little one. So that's just like a little potted plant. Then on this one, I'm gonna add some of this moss from the dollar store. You can find this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and it's a little bit messier, but it just gets it that, look at that, that really organic. So the cost of this project is basically $4 because I already had the greenery. All I bought was moss and two terracotta plants and some foam they already have. That's why I always recommend to shop your house first when you're working on a project like this to see what you have. So I think that looks pretty cute. And I'm gonna add actually one more right here to the top. There's no quantity on which, like on how many you should add. You can add as many, like if I wanna add some of these boxwood right here just for texture, I can. I'm not going to, but I could if I wanted to. So just like that, I have two really cute potted. You know what, I think I'm gonna add. I have this one right here that I feel like should come down. Right here. See, there's no, you just can add as many as you want and just try it. Just give it a little fluff. And voila, you guys, just like that, we have some potted plants for our patio. In this case, on top of my hatch. And I cannot wait to show you. I hope you guys like the way this turned out. You know, sometimes I like to take a break to. Uh, come to the beach and think about how fortunate I really am 
to be able to do the things that I do and you guys continue to come back and I just really like to say thank you for all of your support for continuing to watching the videos I am so blessed to have uh, you guys around to keep me motivated and keep me wanting to do the things that I love to do and thank you for all the support right now I'm just gonna take a minute to take it all in and to think about how fortunate we all are to be here and do what we love so thank you guys so much As you guys can see, making this cute little potted terracotta planters is super easy and so affordable and it will make an impact on top of my hatch here in the dining room. I really want it to be super gardening and what is more gardening than terracotta and greenery. So these guys came, this guy right here came on like $2, $2.50 for this plant you can go out and buy it at tj maxx for more than that and it is a breeze to make as you guys can see all right well that's all i have for today i hope you enjoyed the diy please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you want to see next here ramon at home do you guys enjoy your shopping trips more or decorating diy projects i really want to know so i can create more of that content for you if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing for more diy projects like this and I cannot wait to show you guys what the top of the hatch will look like in our next video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.